Let me start giving some credit to Boston College. I thought they battled for four quarters. Uh, that quarterback's a good player. Uh, they're well coached schematically, gave us some challenges and things, so credit to them. Um, you know, on our end, we, you know, a few plays here or there, we, we got to be able to make. Um, I did think defensively uh, for throughout the night, uh, response effort. I mean, the goal line stand, they got the early turnover in the red zone. We put them in a couple bad spots, right? Opening the half, kickoff return fumble, and then offensively we turned the thing over. And um, I thought those guys battled throughout the, the night offensively. You know, it's, you know, turnover piece, we, we got to get better there. We got to get better in the, in the run game, staying away from negative yardage. Uh, we had a few missed opportunities, right? We got Montori a couple of times and missed them. Those, those things changed the game. Um, but those guys, again, continued to battle throughout, got us the lead. When we took the lead in 1916, I, that, that series starts at our own, I think, two-yard line. Uh, and they go all the way down, again, finishing in the red zone with some – some touchdowns so it would, would be huge, and we just didn't get it done tonight. I did think Jonathan Kim came up huge for us um, in this game, and this these elements weren't ideal for uh, kicking a ball and snapping and holding and all that. So so was pleased with it. Told the team after, obviously, we did not play well enough to win the game. We've got plenty to clean up, but I do like this team. I do like the work ethic they've got. That we'll be back to work tomorrow, and uh, and and try to get better because we need to. Yep. Oh yeah, just uh, well, I'm thinking about just a couple of glaring misses tonight. Uh, I don't know if it was footwork; he just overthrew a couple of them. Um, I, I do. I give this kid credit; he battles. Um, yeah, we're looking for uh, consistency out of him. At the same time, he's he's working with the, you know a side of the ball. We're down a few guys tonight, and he's he's out there battling. We're mixing lineups at the old line and things, and um, he'll continue if he keeps his approach. He'll continue to improve. I do think he's got some dynamic dynamic play in him. I mean, there's parts of this game I felt like he was the only only piece we had on offense. The way he was scrambling and going, um, it's a lot on his shoulders, uh, and we got to find ways to continue to help him. Pretty effective tonight. I mean, he and he's competitive in that. I mean, it's, he's tough to tackle. He made some huge scramble and runs, and then you know some throws on the move. Uh, and so we got to keep you know finding ourselves offensively where we can t put him in good situations. Um, and that's not I uh, say he's going to you know next time he speaks he's going to say he had a few plays to be made and make them. How early in the week, kind of, did you know you can discount a receiver? And how much did yeah. that affect? How much you're able to plan or what you want to? We weren't certain on where we were going to be early in the week. I, later on, we could just tell a few of them were not going to be able to go on Saturday. And so then you started adjusting a little bit. You saw a little bit more, you know, 12 and a couple of tight ends out there. But we weren't certain until really Thursday night. Does that complicate? Go ahead. Just how much does that complicate things when it's kind of – well, you know, it, it, yeah, it's not ideal um, to find out kind of for certain that late. Uh, but at the same time, if those guys aren't full go during the week, you got to start making some different plans, and we did. None of those guys were anticipating our season ending. Yeah, exactly, because he got dinged during the game, came back in the, in the game last week, and so, no, we're, we're hopeful. You know, it's sooner than later, and I'm not talking like November. I mean, with same with Glove, uh, sooner than later. With, with the way that the second half started, I mean, what's going through your mind as a coach? You beat the other teams with like 10 points in 15 seconds. Is that how quick that is? I mean, yeah, we, these games are going to have some ebbs and flows, and we got to clean up some things on the. And again, K. Ron's a good player. He's an aggressive player on kick. I, I like him. That he's on our kickoff return. We got to keep the ball locked up. He takes a good shot. The elements aren't great out there. Um, and then obviously offensively, we can't turn the thing over. I mean, two possessions, we give them on their side of the 50, one of them like inside the 10. And that's where I give credit to our defense, the way they continue to battle, the word spawn and bounce back. And they held them to 10 points. could have been easily 14. The defense overall, I mean, you've got a couple moments where they really stood up and, and then a couple times where obviously you're not going to hold yep. the, the entire game out of it. What, what's your overall assessment of sort of their sense of timeliness and contain, containment of the Yeah, I thought we played good defense. 
team defense tonight because we needed that was the plan going in against this quarterback. You, everyone's got to do their job in their gaps because one guy trying to do an individual move, that's when you get creased by this guy. And they did awesome throughout the night of just trying to contain him. You weren't going to completely stop him. Um, but I mean, look, I mean, we, get, we turned the ball over, I think, four times and they scored 23 points. I mean, that's a, a pretty good effort defensively. You went, uh, the timeout challenge on the fourth and one, there was any of that? Thinking about punt, or was it just about what was our best plan here? Yeah, no, we were going to go, um, and uh, you know, these challenges. You got one a game. It's the fourth quarter. I mean, one of the chances. So that's why I threw the, and some some of it was I felt like a little bit delayed in the spot of it. That's why our call was a little late coming in. The clock's going down, so I just said we'll challenge the whole thing. We'll talk. I mean, and again, he, he's supported in that locker room. He knows, you know, guys got his back and all of that. But I haven't deeply talked to him yet. Yeah, we got some guys that are, you know, we're not we're midseason healthy right now, and so guys are battling this game, and we got others to step in. I mean, Avion's going in there and, and, and doing some stuff, and um, that's just kind of where football's at with with us right now. And I, you know, I feel good with all those guys out on the field. What about Brandon um, at right guard? I mean, why why move him from the tackle spot there? And I guess I don't know if you have an idea of how. Don't know on yeah how that went. We just felt like we have three tackles that we have some confidence in that are playing, and so an opportunity to play all three of them, and that's why Brandon was willing to to go in there. And you know, I'll look at the tape thoroughly to to know how it all went. Uh, I'm sure there is a little bit. I'll give again during fall camp, these guys are moving around a little bit, but yeah, that's um, that's a lot to ask. But we were trying to put our best five out out on the field. Yeah, it's tough uh, to lose lose games. I mean, just in the fact that you feel like you could play better, right? And, and again, credit to Boston College. These guys forced some of these issues that we've we've got because um, they're you know well coached. Um, but yeah, the way the, the effort that these guys will play, we'll play for four quarters. You'd love for them to get on on the, the right side of things each time we line up. Uh, they, these guys took it tough. I mean, there wasn't much. I mean, it was quiet in there. Guys are down. I, you know, they're helping pump each other up. But just my message to them: We know we can play better. We need to play better. Um, but I, I do. I like these this group. I like the approach they're taking, and we'll be back to work tomorrow. At the end. Yeah, it looks like we kind of got crossed up in coverage and the ball's up. Then we get the safety coming over Malik. That's a tough play, and we missed the tackle, and we score. We'll play for four quarters. Uh, I think uh, we were resilient, especially on the on the defensive side. I think we've got some upside offensively. We've got to clean up, clean up a bunch. But I think these guys love football, the work ethic. I think we'll stay together. Um, and looking forward to continuing week to week in the process with these guys. Can you talk about the, the ability to respond? What did you have to do that long kickoff? Went back to him, especially on third and 15. Oh, that was huge. That huge carry. Yeah, I mean, third and 15, we're really just trying to say, hey, let's play it smart. Kim's been banging things through. We give him the ball. He gets first down down there. So, yeah, it, mistakes are going to take place. This isn't a game of perfect, and we got belief in the next guy. So, here on you. Yeah, put it on the ground, start the second half, but we got plenty of confidence. I think we gave him the ball on the fourth and one. Yeah, you know, so he's a good player. When you talk about that resilience, how, how surprising or maybe satisfying is that for you as a coach when you got the, the 16 new guys all coming in, the new schemes on both sides, new staff? For that to be losing mm. since game one, guys, for that to be yeah. so early, what does that mean? I guess? Yeah, I, I, we want to coach guys that, that will finish. And again, the flip side, these guys will finish. We got to keep going as coaches to make sure we're you know setting them up to have success to finish all these games, let alone the first, second, third quarters. Um, but I, I do. I like the group. I like the approach. We got a lot to clean up, and we got a chance to get better if we stick to our to our process here. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.